welcome back to my channel and to yet another video i am back to do my final check-in for the month of january and it's going to be very short <laughs> like i always say in every video but today i'm checking in for only two envelopes i believe so let's do it I'm just getting ready to leave for work soon so I have a very very busy schedule for next week so I need to just do this today and have it ready for you guys on Sunday and because it's only two envelopes I'll just go ahead and just finish it up so like you have seen I was just taking out the last of the money for this month today is the 31st and so i'm only going to check in from the 26th up to the 31st and so i think i'll start with my fare like usual so for me on the 26th was on a sunday so i'll just go ahead and start on the 20th okay i'll just do the 26th but for my fare was on a sunday I think I'll start with the groceries just to make this easier for me. So on the 26th, there was 80 shillings for groceries. And that was food. On the 27th is when I do um, the check-in for me. Because on 26th was on a Sunday and I did not actually do any traveling on that particular day. So I did not use any fare. So this is going to be from the 27th to the 31st. And that gives me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 500. That was my, my fare transport. Then on the 28th, there was 120. Actually, did not um, use up any money for groceries on the 28th. Uh, on the 27th, the 28th, I used up 120. That was groceries, food. The 29th, um, I used up a hundred just for groceries, food, and on the 30th, again, I used a hundred for groceries. Was for food, and then today, the 31st, I'll be using 100 for groceries and for food, and that will be the final transaction I'll be doing for the month of January. So, let's go ahead and finish up. Oh, actually, on Sunday, I had no transaction, the final transaction was on. Saturday for 80 shillings and I bought um, spice a spice so this whole transaction over here is not supposed to be there I'll just go ahead and just cancel it out and then I'll, I'll write it out later it's so actually my I'll start with my fare which is 500 and today I have spent 500 meaning the balance is supposed to be zero and the envelope is empty and the cash envelope states that it's zero so that's that's fine and then next is my groceries of which i'll start from the 28th which i spent 120 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and that is 420 
in last week I had left over 440 today I have spent 420 so I'm supposed to have a balance of 20 shillings and according to my flashcard it's zero but I have it here at the back of my little folder and I'm sure that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. that is 17 shillings um, it's included in this 50 shillings this is just a little slot where I just put all the change I have left so just go ahead and cancel it out so that when I'm doing my cash envelope stuffing which is going to happen very soon um, sometime next week I want to start uh, with a clean slate last week we don't have any unbudgeted expense as of today and so last week our unbudgeted envelope had zero so I'll just indicate zero zero and that is the end of that check-in so just go ahead and place everything back I think I'm okay with the flashcard I don't need to replace them because I have a space I think I can do away with this one because I needed it for my records but um, since I have finished with um, January I'll just continue with this one and I will do the same with my fair flashcard as well as any other card that I may have filled up. Let me just confirm. When you see some money left over in my cash envelope, stay tuned uh, as I will be sharing what I do with that amount during my cash envelope stuffing video which I will be posting sometime next week. If you're interested in seeing that, please consider subscribing. I also wanted to do a disclaimer that I used up some money from my R and my S envelopes. And so when I'm doing my cash envelope uh, stuffing, some money will be missing from here, but I intend to return it very soon. So I will actually just indicate that it's there but it's not there because i want to hold myself accountable for it and actually return it so i just put all my envelopes back and i'm planning on having new envelopes i don't know if they'll be ready by the time i'm doing my um, envelope stuffing but i'm really trying to have them ready because i want to replace these ones with a different format but if not i'll certainly prepare them and have them ready for my next budgeting video i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe and i will see you in my next video